guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for part two of our school haul. Um, whatever you want to call the series. Um, this is actually my nursing school haul. This is year two um, of my CCA course. Um, yeah, so I had already filmed this once, or at least I thought I was. And I was down to like the last two items when I noticed that my camera wasn't even turned on. So I did the entire thing without actually filming anything. So everything is already laid out. Um, so I'm just going to go over it, I guess, for me again. Um, so that you guys can see everything. Um, I'm just like picking out certain things now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump right in. Show you guys what I got for this year. What I still have left over from last year. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the same as last year, I am using the exact same backpack. Um, this is from Walmart. I don't even know if there's like a brand to it. It's just Walmart. Um, it has the, um, pouch for my laptop. It has two of the water bottle sides. Um, it has a big, or well, not big, but a decent size middle pocket um that I can just like kind of check things into um and then these ones here this has a spot for like pens and my cue cards things like that that I have and then this is a good little spot for me to like slide my keys in when I get to the school and this here is where I put like my ID my badges and stuff because this year we do have to scan into the building um, because it's easier to track for like COVID, whatever you want to call it, contact. Um, so I'm just going to leave my badge and stuff right in here so that I can just grab it and put it back. Um, but yeah, this is the backpack. It's still holding up. I used it all of last year. Um, it's a pretty decent backpack for like the 20, 30 bucks that I spent. I think it was like 24 or something. So like 25, 26 bucks. Um, but yeah, it was a really good backpack. So again, this year. Um, same with last year, I have the Thermos lunchbox. It's just like a little handbag type lunchbox. Um, it does have a very sturdy um, build to it. Um, so this is as far as it goes. Like there, you, there's like a wire in there, um, but it is, insulated and it does have enough room for like when I'm doing clinicals or anything like that and I just want to chop like a million different snacks in here um there's room for that and they it also has enough room that I can stack two of my pre pre-work I was gonna say pre-workouts my meal prep containers in here and then still have room for like drinks and stuff so Again, I got this, I think it was like 10, 15 bucks at Walmart last year. Um, and I like it because it does have like these, it's like a handbag. So because my backpack is completely full, there is no more room for a lunch container. And I didn't want to be holding like this little itty bitty. Um, I did go ahead and get this. Um, like I said, it's been really durable for a Walmart product, but I like it and me using it again this year um so this year I bought this water bottle about two weeks ago um last year I think it was like a teal it was by the same company but it was very easily damaged um if I had banged it off of anything or if I had dropped it it has like huge dents in it and the paint and everything is coming off so this year I went with something it's by the same brand, it is, what is it, Tal Hydration, um, yeah, Tal Hydration, and I got this at Walmart for like 10 bucks, um, I just really thought it was really cute, the only thing that I have an issue with is that this one has like the screw off top, there's no straw to it, so if I'm in clinical, or if I'm sitting in a class and I want to like write and I can't, I have to like actually stop and take a drink, because it doesn't have a straw so I might go ahead and buy a second one just like a regular small one with a straw in it but this is what I've got for now and I'm sorry if you hear any background noise the kids are home today 
and they were in the other room playing. So they're like yelling back and forth and the game is up. Um, <laughs> and they're yelling at the game itself. So anyway, please ignore that if you hear it. Um, so yeah, into the rest of the video. Um, you will see when I go through my binder that I actually still had some cue cards left over from last year. Now these ones here are plain. Last year's are lined. Um, but I found last year that I was flipping the cards over to use the back of the cards because I was trying to like jam pack like definitions and stuff on there. So I did go ahead and get the plain ones this year. Um, and like I said, because I have some left over from last year, I only bought one pack, um, because I don't want to waste the ones that I have from last year, so I'm going to use those up. Um, I'll probably find something different other than definitions to use them for, though. But I did get one pack, um, and if I find that I am running low on them, I will go get another pack. Um, let me just put these where I want them so I know where they're at so like I said they're just going to go like in the front pouch um in the front zipper part um so because my hair is almost always up especially in like labs and stuff I did go ahead and get these Nike headbands they have like um I don't know if you can see them they have like the little Nike thing on them but on the inside, they have, like, the grips so that when you have them on your hair, they're not, like, flinging back because I don't know how many times I've looked like a complete fool with headbands back here that have just, like, slipped right off. So I did go ahead and make sure that I got the ones with the grips. I'm hoping that these stay in place, um, but we will see. Um, so, yeah, so I did get a bunch of those. I think there's, like, what, six, and it was only ten bucks, um, so, you know, I had to try them. Um, same with from last year. I have a three hole punch, three hole hole punch. Um, and this one here will go into my binder or in my backpack. I haven't decided um, if I'm going to carry my binder with me the entire time or not, because if I am, I'll just chuck it in my backpack. Um, or sorry, chuck it in my binder. But if I'm going to like not, I'll probably leave it in my backpack and just take it when I need it um, because last year there were, a little, there were a lot of printouts that I had to do um, and I wanted them in my binder so I did go ahead and get this um, so like I said we'll see if I actually use it this year or not um, and then I did go ahead because last year we were like online learning, a lot of our assignments were emailed in or put in through a program. This year, because we are going in person, I did go ahead and get a folder. This has two little like pockets um, and it is the cutest thing ever. And I only paid $1.25 at the dollar store for it. It says you can't buy happiness, but you can buy coffee. Um, and for those of you who follow me, you guys know that I am, like, obsessed with my morning iced coffee. So, it was only logical that I bought a coffee folder. Um, so yeah, so I do have that. Um, and then I do have one of my books from last year. Um, as you can see, I, like, tagged off where I needed for, like, important things. Um, and as you can see, we are about halfway through the book. I think the last one is here. So the last chapter ends. Where does the last chapter end? Oh, right there. So a little over half the way. So I'm not sure if we will need this book this year because it's not on my list of things needed um but i am going to keep it just in case well even if i don't need it this year it does still have like all of the important stuff on it so this is the fifth edition um professionalism and healthcare book um and this is more so for like communications and things like that um but yeah so i do have that from last year 
And then I have another um, skills book. So this is just like, um, like where the teacher signs off that I have a skill. This is what a lot of the places around here are looking for when they go to hire you. I know last year I was going to go work at um, a seniors complex um, and they wanted to know how much of my skill book I had done. I had to show them, like send in pictures of the ones that I had. Um, so this is a new one. This is for this year. Um, so yeah, so we're going to keep these ones separate because I don't want them, I don't want to take the wrong one to class. So my old one is in my bedroom and this is the one that's going to go into my locker because this one here is only being used for lab so I don't even need to take it home. Um, so this one I'm going to check in my backpack and keep it in my locker. Um, so last year we had, um, it was a Mosby's book. Um, it was the fourth edition. They came out with a new textbook and I was <laughs> kind of sour about it because these textbooks are not cheap. Um, and I had already thought that I had already had my textbooks that I needed. Um, and then we got an email saying that there was a new edition. So I had to go out get this one here is like the actual textbook itself. So it has all of like the chapter assignments. So obviously I had to get that one. And then our like main textbook, um, it's a little bit heavier than last time. Um, and this is the fifth edition. And this one doesn't say Mosby's on it. It just says Sorrento. So I don't know if they're, I don't know what the difference is between this one and the last one other than the authors have changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I had to go ahead and get the new edition. So I'm going to put that in here before I forget about it. Anyhow, um, this is my binder. If you guys watched last year's video, you guys will know. Um, this is my five star binder that I used last year. Um, it's very well loved, <laughs> um, but it has kind of gotten me through everything. I do have two other binders. They are three inch binders um, and they have first and second semester of last year. So all of like my keynotes, um, everything that is like important is back in those. So I did go ahead and empty this one. Um, and kind of like restock it. Um, as you can tell, I still have um, a highlighter or a highlighting pen, a whiteout pen, some highlighters and pens here. I did make sure that they worked before I took a bad one to class. Um, so like I said, I do have some of my index cards left. Um, I do also have some extra divider tabs. And last year we had a project and I needed some glitter. So I did go to the dollar store and buy like a big pack. Um, and I think I used like the first two packs off of it. Um, actually maybe the first four packs. Um, anyway, so I have all kinds of glitter left and I just have it like sitting in my binder. Um, so that is what's all in that side. And then I did see this. This one I got at Walmart. I don't normally buy my scribblers and stuff at Walmart, like my notebooks at Walmart. I normally go to like the dollar store because I don't use the, like, there's no point in buying a $10 scribbler for me to use for like a month. Um, I would go to the dollar store and buy like one for like three bucks. You know, it is what it is. But this one was so cute. It says I can and I will. And on the inside it says live, live in the moment. I was gonna say live for the moment, but it says live in the moment. Um, and it's just regular lined paper. Um, and this is something that I can take from the class like the in-class lecture room to the lab. Um, I can always have this with me 
Um, it's very like small and flexible. Like I can just take it and go. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute. The back is floral as well, and it matches with my water bottle. Um, so this here is just some loose leaf. I didn't go ahead and put it in where the tabs are yet. Um, all of the tabs are ready to go. I already have the sticker for the label. Um, I just haven't got there yet. Um, but yeah, so my binder is all set. What are you doing? And like I said, this is the same binder from last year, so it was well worth the money that and I paid for right. it. Um, you were right. So, the last couple of items. So... This is the stethoscope, stethoscope case that I got off of Amazon last year. Um, I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. Um, I just thought that it was like really super cute. Um, let's take that stuff out. So um, the inside of it is nice and soft, so it's not gonna like damage your stethoscope. And it does have like the little pocket here for your scissors and your pen light. Now, I do not have my pen lights. Um, um, I do not have my pen lights. I did order two different sets last year. Um, the first one that I ordered, I wasn't paying attention and it was actually an LED light. Um, so I couldn't use that one obviously because you're not supposed to use LEDs to shine people's eyes. Um, the second one I got, I didn't look at the description excuse me sorry it wasn't in the title of the pen light it just said medical pen light um i didn't go through everything i was going by the picture that i seen on amazon um and when i got it i noticed that in the little thing like on the package itself it did say that it was an led so i couldn't use those ones either um so I ordered a new one and it's on its way here. It should be here just before school starts. So I have, what, today's Friday. So it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have like six days. I have almost a week left. Um, I don't know why I needed to count that. Anyway, I have almost a week left. It should be here, I think Monday or Tuesday. Um, and they're just like the regular um, one is black, one is white, like the casing, and it has like the dilations on the side of it. Um, so yeah, that's going to go in this little pocket here. And then for my stethoscope, I got the Lipman 3. Um, I was aiming for a like blue so that it would match my case, um, but they actually did not have any in stock when I ordered them. Um, so I just got like this pinkish, um, what's it called? is that the right color anyway it's like a pinkish color um and it has um this one is for pediatrics as well um but um like i said litman 3 um and it's pretty decent um i really like it um the only thing like i said was the color um and i was looking last year i tried to find like the little pin name code things that you clip right here um because i just didn't want anybody to steal mine but thankfully it didn't happen but in places where i've been they have said that stethoscopes go missing people pick up the wrong one and just kind of don't know where to put it back at um anyway so i haven't managed to lose mine yet um, and I was looking, I found a bunch of the name tags on Etsy, but with prices and shipping and stuff, I just didn't feel like I needed it. But I think this year I'm going to, just because where I will be going into the hospital, um, and things are changing a little bit, um, like our setups are different. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys it did come with like extra ear pieces and the piece that goes like around the actual um so i can put that back in there before i lose them because i'll lose them and then i'll need them anyway so these are black ones the ones that are on there now are like a gray um but that's just what it came with so yeah so that's my stethoscope and the case um 
The scrubs that I have are a gray, like a light gray, like a medium grayish, um, just because that's what the school had gone with. Now I do have, I think, a couple of black ones, and I think one of them has like a design on them, but for school purposes only. Um, I do have a couple of like gray scrubs um, that I just got from Walmart. And yeah, so then, like I said, I only have a couple of pens left over from last year. Um, so I did go ahead and get the Bic Crystal Extra Smooth. I wanted to try these ones just because I feel like these ones write really good. Um, and then I did go ahead and get the Bic Gelosities. These are supposed to be long lasting, so they're supposed to have, I don't know. Um, sorry guys, my daughter came out. Anyway, these are supposed to last up to 30% longer than regular pens. Um, we're going to find out because I do a lot of writing. Um, like I said, with all of the pens that I had last year, I only have like four left. Um, so I did go ahead and get these. If I like them, I will go back and buy more. But if not, I'll probably just stick to like regular pens. Um, this pack actually has a red one and two black ones. So the red one, I will go over like all of my um, like chapter answers. Um, and I will put in the correct ones with red. And the black ink ones, I will use to... So when I'm writing down my lectures and stuff, I will use one color for what the teacher adds in. And then one color for like what I want to add in. Like say if there's a, spe a specific way I want to remember it. I will write it in blue ink, but if not, it will be in black. Um, so those are going to go in here um, because I do still have a couple that are okay. Um, now this little thing, <laughs> um, this is going to sound funny. So last year I had like little um, containers that had like my paper clips and all of that stuff in it. but. They kept like getting knocked off, like the covers kept coming off, and I was constantly picking them up all the time. So I get an Ipsy subscription, which for those of you who don't know what Ipsy is, it is a monthly makeup subscription. You get like little samples, um, and it's something that I get, I've gotten for years. Anyway, so this one is a recent bag. I think I got it a couple of months ago. And it is so cute. It says stay golden and it has like a little blue gem and I think it matches with my stethoscope case pretty good. So anyway, so that's what I'm using it for. Um, so I have like my regular hole punch. I've got some paper clips. I've got the little um, bulldog clips and I have a sharpener for like my color pencils. Um, anytime I have to use a pencil so I know what I'm doing. Um, like my client care papers, um, they like us to use pencil because I can easily erase something out. Um, so I do have pencils, but I don't have some actually. I think I, I should go buy some more because I don't think I have any. Um, but yeah, so that's what's in this bag. And that one goes there. And then this one here is just an Adidas bag. It actually had, um, a couple of, I think there was like two perfumes and a body lotion or a body wash. Um, I got this for Christmas four, three years ago, four years ago. Um, anyway, so inside of it, um, I don't know if I can do this without spilling it. I just have all of like my markers and stuff. So I have, like I said, I have two pens in my binder and then two pens um, here as well. So also, you know, two different colors. So one for lectures, one for my writing. Um, I have a new whiteout pen because I'm pretty sure my pen is getting kind of low. Um, and I'm addicted to Sharpie. I don't know what it is about the, I just, I don't know, I like Sharpie. So I ended up getting the Sharpie highlighters. Last year I got um, like a pastel um, I can't even remember what they were called. Um, anyway, they were pastel highlighters, but I don't know. Some of the colors didn't even show up, and some of the colors actually covered my, like, actual writing. So I went back to, like, basic, like, this is 
stuff I've used in high school. So I went back to those. Um, and then for like my cue cards, like my terminology and all of that fun stuff, um, I do have, oh, that's not supposed to be in there. That's not supposed to be. I have these like pastel -y, um fine tip markers um, and these are also Sharpies. These ones are however permanent markers um, so I will use them on like my cue cards. Um, I will use them for color coding um, my what are you called what do you call them my divider tabs. So that's what those are for and then I just have Crayola mark like regular Crayola markers. Um, I got like the fine tip ones and some colored pencils just so that I can you know color coordinate everything um and last year I actually I wasn't going to buy them to be honest because I didn't think I was going to need them but we did have a couple of projects and I needed them so I'm glad I bought them um and they're still good like you know I'm not going out coloring crazy on everything um so I'm still just going to use the markers and colored pencils that I had last year um, but like I said, I did end up getting new pens and new highlighters, um, and I will have to go buy some pencils, and I'm just like a regular, I'm going to go out and buy yellow pencils. I don't need anything special because honestly, with what I'm using them for, it's just a pencil. So, so yeah, this is... I think that's everything. Um, oh, so this is what it looks like when it's packed. Um, it does have like these little clips on the side that I use. I've got a random sock in there. Um, I don't know why that's in there. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is my backpack, um, my lunch, you know, everything that I think I need. Um, I will do a clinical bag, um, as soon as I figure out what bag I want to use. The bag that I had last year, I don't know, I didn't like, it wasn't functional, so a lot of the time I ended up taking a bunch of stuff out of here and using just like a regular backpack, but I don't want to do that this year. I want a different clinical bag, so I'm going to see what I can find because like I said, I don't like the Puma one that I had last year um, and I do have some supplies that I have to put in like specifically for that like my clipboard and stuff like that so anyway I will do a second so it'll be like a part three because this is technically part two of our school haul episodes um, so yeah you guys keep an eye out for those make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget, if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um, I've been posting a lot lately, so make sure you do hit that bell. And that way you never miss an upload. And I will see you next time.